But we always show that we do care about the neighborhood and, and the kids that are from Azteca, you see all the neighbors that came out, they're all enjoying, they're all saying thank you, you know, because they know it's a, it's a problem. This lady said right now, I'm gonna make sure that people continue cleaning. You know, she wants to be part of it because she saw that we care. So that's the whole point. It's just the whole awareness. My name is Armando Velasco. I'm a retired Marine and uh, serving here still in my community. I work mostly with, uh, with um, uh, Councilman Mercurio and also with Big Lou. We always do cleanups here on the, on the parks. It is, it is a pleasure for me. It's a, an honor and a privilege to still be able to serve my city. If you don't take pride in your city, you're not going to take pride in anything. You, this is where we live. You want, you want your town to look nice. Our mission is to create an understanding between our local LGBTQ community and our pretty much our straight counterparts. We're here today just to support the cause of cleaning up Azteca and helping you know with the community as we can because we want to be a part of it. It's more than just you know kind of promoting our cause. My name is Tanya Benavides and I'm a Democratic candidate here in Texas 28 running for Congress. Um, and I'm just so excited to be here and to see the youth leadership in action. Um, it's been so inspiring to see this level of service in the middle of a pandemic. I think it shows that we care about the future of Laredo, right? that we care about our community and what is going to come 5, 10, 15 years from now. Um, and I think that that's very powerful because we only have one Laredo, we only have one Rio Grande, and we know that we need to preserve it. And uh, we just came out here to clean it up. Uh, not just the creek, but uh, the neighborhood. A lot of people uh, just disregard that there's trash cans around, and so they throw things in there, uh, in the streets. And so today, a lot of us came out just to come in and, and clean up. It's like doing chores. Like you, you might not want to do it, but it's something that's very necessary. And I feel like you're giving back to the community. You're doing something good for your city. You know, I feel like at the end of the day, it's worth it. Uh, we came out this morning because we wanted to lend our, our helping hand to uh, supporting such a great project here and that is today cleaning up the uh, Azteca Park here. Uh, but we were also out here uh, providing some of our delicious uh, freshly roasted coffee to all the participants. Um, and it's just our way of giving back to a community that has given so much to us. My name is Leti Trejo and I'm Rosina de Hoyos Vargas and we represent Powered by People yes. and our, our uh, mission, our pride, our passion is promoting our registration to vote, getting everyone registered to vote. So every cleanup, we've been moving from district, you know, from uh, neighborhood to neighborhood. We started with the La Ladrillera, right now we're here at La Seca. It's a great experience to have all these entities yeah. participate. Tommy Yu, Martin High School. El Azteca is one of our oldest barrios in, in Laredo. And today we had an amazing turnout with, with all of you all from Martin. Neighborhood cleanups are such a wonderful way to, to spread a sense of awareness for waste reducing efforts. And we need to continue to encourage everyone not to litter and to be proud of where they come from, to be proud of their neighborhoods their, and, and to keep Laredo clean and beautiful. Mm -hmm.